So just about set now. And getting the start for the Red Sox, Tanner Houck. Singing, he's been outstanding and should be fun to watch. Well, when you have a guy that can limit the opponent to very little run production, you have a great chance to win a ball game when he takes them out. He's just having an outstanding season so far. You hope he can maintain it because if he can, he'll be in a nice conversation at the end of the year. Swings through that one for strike two. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level playing at night. And downstairs. Three balls. Two strikes. The wind of the pitch. Ripped on a line to center. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One up, one down. And time now for the Phillies lineup. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Kyle Schwarber. Boog, he's really been showing off the pop in this series so far. Two homers. And you know, he'd love to add on with another shot today. I'm interested to see how they approach him. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. And the righty deals. Castellanos swings, drills one to center. Rafaela ranging back. Up against the wall and brings it in. Typically not easy to go deep to center field, but he almost did right there and got a little help from the wind, just not enough. Bryce Harper to the plate. Two outs, bases empty. Next offering in there for a strike. It's a ball and two strikes. And another ball. And a base hit into right. And that keeps the inning going. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity that to put cool. something in the gap the and eight. give the Phillies the lead. Right Stop. This is Bryson's stop. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. First and second, two down. Edmundo Sosa stands in for the Phillies at the belt and fires. That one misses, and a count two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two on, two outs. Popped up. And that's the third out. Phillies leave a couple. Now the Red Sox will get their shot. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at Fenway Park. And today on the hill, Aaron Nolan. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Bottom of the first. And stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. For the Red Sox. The left fielder. Duran. Duran. The one one is fouled off. That misses, and that's ball two. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but in some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And next for the Red Sox, David Hamilton. Right through there for a strike. One down, base is empty. 
Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. The one two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Here's Tyler O'Neill. The pitch. Way out front for strike two. Kicks and fires. Got it. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Down in order go the Red Sox. Scoreless after one. Back here in Boston. New inning getting started. And now David Dahl. Kicks and deals. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. And yeah, that's outside, and it's two and two. Our plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, boo, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually he has to do something with where he sets up prior to each pitch. With Merrifield up to the plate. Merrifield. Clips the corner. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see them a lot. Yeah, but they're all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think over time you can develop a relationship with them. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. All tied up here at the top of the second. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied okay. by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. You had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Garrett Stubbs stands in for the Phillies. Two outs. That one misses. Three balls and a strike. Late with the swing there. Three balls. Two strikes. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. Duran quickly gets it back in. They hold the runner at second, so another base hit could get that us our enough. first run in this one. The center Johan Rojas stands in for the Phillies. The 1-1. One, one. Right through there for a strike. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Runner at second, two down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results.
back here in Fenway. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's Rafael Devers. Third baseman, Rafael Devers. The wind of the pitch. Fastball almost got him there. Straighten him up a little bit. strikes looks like he's picked up right where he left off oh you know that's going to be very frustrating for this guy he knows the strike zone extremely well and you know what good hitters are not going to compromise he'll take that punch out but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else masataka yoshida up next for the red sox swing and a miss in the count one and two One down, base is empty. Battling here as he fouls it away. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Next pitch is oh, outside. Way. It's a good take. Oh. Next offering is downstairs. Okay. Base is empty, one away. Bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. He doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Next to hit, Ed Manuel Valdez. That one missing inside. Two and one. Two down, nobody on. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball three. And that's ball four. Take your base. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Here's Reese McGuire, swinging it much better this season in away games than here at home. Right-hander kicks, deals. Left field. And that is a foul ball. Valdez, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him. And that's that. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at Fenway, top half of the third inning. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Schwarber. There's a 1-1. One, one. That's ripped. Base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. But that's a pure stroke. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. That pitch is downstairs. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. With the go-ahead run at first, we're here in the top half of inning number three. three and hits the dirt, Perfect. and the count is three and one. Calling this count runner, not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Bert. Three and two. a strikeout. 
Here's Bryce Harper. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Man, at first one away. Right through there for a strike. And a one two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. The pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. And the right hander deals. And it's through for a hit. And a go ahead run into scoring position. One away. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. First and second, one out. Weston Wilson stands in for the Phillies. Swings and misses. One and two. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boy. That one inside. Two and two. Good eye in that spot. Going to lay off that pitch down. Edmundo Sosa in the on deck circle. Runners at first and second with one gone. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. And that one finds its way through. Throw comes in quickly, holds that go ahead run at third, now and there's still one away. Weston Wilson with his first major league down. hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Here is Sosa to the plate. Top of the third, no score. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Base hit, one run is in. Here comes the throw. And the throws offline, safe at third. Now battle. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. So two in scoring position with one out. So digging in now for Philadelphia, David Dahl. And he deals. That's in there. And the count, one and two. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Big strikeout right there. And that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield was in. So now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. So up next, Whit Merrifield. Lifted in the air, right center field. O'Neill getting an angle on it. Squeezes it. And that's the third out. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Phillies two and the Red Sox nothing. Back inside ready Fenway go Park. Ready Four to go for the last half of the inning. Joe so stepping in for Boston. Dominic Smith. 
Smith. The pitch. Oh. And another ball. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Here comes a pitch. That Three one ball. off the mark, and Next. it's three and two. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's Not looking enough. very much on his game no, in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. One ball. Two straight. One out, base is empty. Goes down looking. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. So the batting order turns over. Now batting Jaron Duran. Off the mark there, and it's two and one. Two outs. Oh. And a big swing and a miss. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Red Sox go down quietly. They're still down. It's two zip. Back in Boston. And now the catcher comes up to him. Garrett Stubbs. The wind and the pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Left hand hitter waits. High fly ball, shallow right field. O'Neill drifts towards it. And there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough up to really drive it. The center field. Johan Rojas Johan stands in for the Rojas. Phillies. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris. It's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. On the ground to Devers. Slings the first, and that is that. Three up, three down for Philadelphia as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Bottom of the fourth, Leading now off. it's the shortstop, Four David stop. Hamilton. The shortstop, David Hamilton. And a pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. And here it comes. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Up next for the Red Sox. The white team. Tyler O'Neill. The next to hit. Oh dear. Nola throw to first. Hey. And he's back in easily. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Swings and misses. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total and 
you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. One ball. Devers now. With the tying run at the plate, we're here in the bottom of the fourth. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. He goes down looking. Well, oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch the after giving up the leadoff seven. single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. If it were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. Tying run at the plate. Run around the oh. goal. Pitch inside. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back here in Boston, top five, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Nick Castellanos. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we were expecting performance-wise. Yeah, but great pitchers like this, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to him, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. Into the outfield base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. Three. We saw the numbers right. coming into the ball game, Harper. but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now here is Harper. His home and away splits there. Next offering in there for a strike. And yeah, the count one and two. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. And a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Castellanos gets his lead at first with nobody out. Sneaks through, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. A couple of singles now back to back. Second There's nothing base. cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Weston Wilson digs in now. There's the strike at the knees. Righty delivers. Ripped on a line. And it gets by him. Headed for the plate. One run in. Here comes another. Now two runs score. And they lead by four. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit. Maybe spread out. But he got the job done right there. You're out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Tanner Houck out of the game. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Nick Pavetta into the game. 
And he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters are going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. Edmundo Sosa stands in for the Phillies. Man at second. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. Pitches outside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Number 63 up and throwing. Keller getting cranked up as well. That one pushed foul. time he struck out in this one and definitely now an individual back. performance you want to flush he just Three. hasn't looked very comfortable Middle. up there just one of those days but when you're still winning the ball game at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W man on second two down next Bye. pitch in for a strike and the count is one and two Good job to fight that one off. No. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two runs across in the inning, and we're at the top of the fifth. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Just off the outside edge, okay. and the count's full. The pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Stays alive. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making them work out there. And the lead is up to five. Well, wore him down after an extended plate appearance. It ends with a knock. At that point in a bat for a hitter, when you've seen that many pitches, you've gotten a look, you've fouled off pitches, so the confidence level is extremely high, and it seems like when you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. Next to hit, Garrett Stubbs. Merrifield off of first with two away. Oh, oh, oh. Two outs. Runner on the goal. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Three runs on four hits. No errors. And one left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Phillies five and the Red Sox nothing. Back now at Fenway. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here now the Red Sox DH. Masataka, Masataka Yoshida. Yoshida. And the righty deals. 
good eye right there. Next offering is in for a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And Manuel Valdez up next for the Red Sox. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because... He's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. Nope, Next I'm one back. is off the play, and now three and one. Woo. Right through there for a strike. Three ball, two strike. The wind of the pitch. That one is blasted left field towards the monster. And it bangs off the monster. And into second with one away. That's a double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Man at second with one away. Reese McGuire up next for the Red Sox. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Around third. Now a long throw home. He's safe. He's in there. Wait. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Runner on at first with one gone. And stepping in for Boston, Dominic Smith. Pop foul out of play off to the right. One run across in the frame so far. Last half of inning number five. And there's the ball. One misses and a full countdown. The pitch. And there's Thank ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's gonna have to buckle down right here. So one out with two aboard. Sidane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. The 3 1. In the air, right side. Castellanos moves on it. And there's two down. Now batting, left fielder, Jaren. Duran. So it's their last chance in this one. Here's the left fielder, Jaron Duran. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Now the next pitch he throws will be pitch number 100 as he tries to battle through a tough situation here in the fifth. Line drive, that's a base hit out of the left center field. He dives, makes the tag, and that's the ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Players can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.